Hello everyone. Welcome to the video session on multi-axis edge computing. This is a technical overview. As of now, we have 75 to 100 billion devices, connected devices in this world. And adding more to this, we have a 5G capability for all these devices maybe soon. However, the focus should be on the data that is getting generated out of all these devices. Huge amounts of data. And to give uh, a little idea about how this could be is the size of data is autonomous driving car can possibly generate one gigabyte of data per second and the smart hospital 4000 gigabytes of data per day and a connected factory 1 million gigabytes per day with so much of data being generated the focus shifts on how do we manage the show in the sense is this going to be the norm of having the dependency on the cloud and uh, you know having all the data getting computed on the cloud and also getting the analytics done through the cloud while the data and the devices are growing on one side is this going to be the norm no that could be a risk of you know losing the customer delight in this because the customer at some point of time may not be able to get the services that he wants because the applications and the devices that are made these days are all high latency sensitive which means the data has to be provided and received and uh, all this has to happen in less than a nanosecond in this kind of environment when the dependency is totally on the cloud then we have to look at a different approach so that's why we have these micro cloud environments around the ecosystem of your devices or things in your enterprise and that is called the edge approach so the pure cloud approaches where you have been sending data to the cloud where you stored and you computed and you did the analytics and you have drawn some insights out of that and of course there were this containerization orchestration through kubernetes and all that but the same thing but you have to look at how your ecosystem is arranged in the micro sizes and then see what all the edges you can create around that and each edge has its own cloud ecosystem that is what edge computing is so for each edge there is a cloud environment there is an infrastructure environment where you can actually go and do network function virtualization or you may say software driven networking and you can slice the network where each device has its own features in terms of accessing the radio access network it has its own uh, provisioning to the bandwidth of the network asset that you have got and so that the access of the customer to the services that are getting updated for the applications that he is using and also for the applications to access the data uh, you know becomes much much easier so the the devices on one side it should remain lighter it cannot have all the storage computing capacity and become heavier and expensive and at the same time the latency should decrease so that's why we have this kind of an edge approach where we define certain populations inside the ecosystem of our enterprise with the devices as you talk about the population and you set an ecosystem of a cloud ecosystem and you provide this kind of storage compute and analytics capability there so that the dependency on the core cloud where the entire data is actually put is reduced the risk is also reduced at the same time the latency is reduced so this gives the developers and application creators with an opportunity to make more latency sensitive applications which means the applications that can give insights within less than a nanosecond kind of thing and you may look at this kind of atmosphere where in this you look at 
5G playing a major role. You may say it is also fueling things. On one side, when 5G is giving a lot of empowerment to the users to go for, uh, you know, uh, uh, and go to go for and asking for, you know, better applications and devices. On the other side, the infrastructure should be in a way where it should be made for the applications to give its fullest potential to the user and the user should realize its fullest potential. So that's where uh, we have this network slicing, NFVs getting more personalized, virtualized, network function virtualization where things get on the go, on the click, so to that extent. So the benefits of multi-access edge computing are the proximity. Proximity means you have more, uh, you know, you, you are closer to actually the data and uh, uh, the where the data is getting created. You in the sense, the capability, the computing capability is close to the data. Ultra low latency, which means the customer or the user may not even know that actually this is being done somewhere else but it gives such a feeling that it is being done very close uh, almost in his device high bandwidth with 5g as a fueling factor it gives more and more advantage when there is an edge around the user so this gives high bandwidth which means less use of resources network resources as well because network function virtualization when it is done with in the right manner and when the network slicing is done optimally then the high bandwidth becomes an asset as well because we have more bandwidth left also to use for more devices to add so virtualization is also one way of being cost effective and real-time access to radio network in information this is what we have been talking about network function virtualization you really have access to your ran ran to see how optimally you can allocate to the users that is inside your ecosystem users in the sense the devices and the appliances and location awareness you really know what is happening where and uh, who's ac actually accessing the data so this is the capability of uh, edge computing so with more and more data that is getting generated more and more devices that are getting connected and 5g all and above that we need to look at a different approach that's why we have edge computing this actually reduces the dependency on a, on a cloud a cloud could be a hybrid or a private or a public cloud doesn't matter but having one common cloud instead of that we have micro clouds set inside the environment which will enable you to deliver things to the customer things in the sense the services to the customer the customer is also enjoying that intuitive uh, experience with the uh, applications that is being used and that is of uh, great effect when it comes to telecom service providers where they will be able to you know allocate resources to the uh, to to the uh, customers inside their node and uh, uh, this happens through having each node with uh, its own uh, cloud environment where a kubernetes will be able to orchestrate the services that has to be given to each and every uh, user based on the user profile like that so edge computing is about low latency high efficiency very high efficiency personalization and also optimization which means optimizations means business value uh, having more cost reduction hope you enjoy the video and uh, there is more for you to read in the description bar looking forward to talk to you in the next video thank you